Alright. Interesting. What's in here? Can we go in here? No. Because there's no golden thingy. Golden doorknob. He's going... Okay, there must be some shit in there. There's the insta-heat. This was only recently installed. Not two days ago. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. Yeah, hang on, hang on. Calm down. Alright. So I definitely installed Insta Heat. That's that's confirmed. Let me uh look in here. Cause you you went in here, so this must be something in here. Here we go. Oh Oxidol! We got him now! Nothing significant. No. What is this? An iron? Okay. Nope. Cool. Nice looking iron. Is that it for here? Alright. Let's go outside. What's going on out here? Well, there's a broken something there. That's kind of suspicious, don't you think? What's this? Nothing, apparently. Alright. Oh, I see you in there. I'm on to you. There's gotta be something out here. He told me to come out here. No, I don't want to use intuition. I can't hear music now, so... There must not be anything over... Alright. Oh, here we go. Didn't even notice these. Okay. <laughs> nice. Whoa, what's going on here? Oh, here we go. No use leaving the thing half finished. Alright, well, I guess now we're doing this. Um, okay. Uh, um, there we go. Cole Phelps, a man of many jobs. I think that goes there, yeah. And this goes there. So we got a missing piece, huh? Surely it's not our piece, I right? Missing from Mr. Black's here is the same one that killed No. Him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. Okay. Well. Oh, there we go. We got we got all the clues. All right, Margaret Black. You've got a lot to answer. I'm all right now, detectives. Here we go. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. Ah, uh, truth. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. So Adrian spends a lot of time there? Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. Man, if she's lying, she's a really good liar. So nothing out of the usual then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. 
so far, she's been really truthful. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. Man! Honest McGee over here. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. It looked terrible. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. Um... Can I, can I say she's lying? Because, where is it? Hang on. Yeah. Hurry back, my darling Nicole. So can I say she's lying? Cause maybe she doesn't know, and I could doubt her. No, I'm gonna say she's lying. There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. Don't fuck this but I up, guess Cole. You know that. Don't fuck this up, Cole. I told you what I know about the picture. Cause, yeah, because she might not know about the concealed message, but it's too late. What about yeah. Nicole, Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? I've seen the photo frame. <laughs> he thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. I don't know if he intended to leave me, or if it was just a fling. God only knows. I only want to know that he's safe. Man, we're on fire so far. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say! I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Fuck, oh, look at her face! That is the face of truth right there! That is the face of truth. And there is nothing I could say that proves otherwise. So you know what? Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Please do, Detective. Oh, I am on fire right now. I'm doing so much better than last time. Last time, when I first played this game, I was so shit. I was absolute trash. I don't know why they hired me. I was terrible. But now, I'm a changed man. Okay, let's go to Kavanaugh's bar. I need to go over the case notes. <laughs> do we know where we're going? Yes, we do. Bukowski. Get your ass in the car, let's go. Jesus, I'm glad to be out of there. Mr. and Mrs. Black don't seem to have the happiest home life. He's too scared to divorce her, and she's too much of a shrinking violet to throw him out. If this hadn't happened, they could have stayed miserable together forever. You think she could have killed him? She sure as hell doesn't seem to type. But stranger things have happened. Alright, here we are. Hey, I know you. No, you don't. What the fuck? The guy from the papers. We were at school together. Uh, how about you buy me a drink? For, for old time's sake. <laughs> yeah, alright. See you later. At least you tried, buddy. You looking for someone? I'm looking you for know you. know Frank Morgan? Cherry pie was sure. Frank's your regular. He's a loner in the back. Frank Morgan. Are uh, you Frank Morgan? Frank Morgan? Who's asking? Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. 
Wow. <laughs> All right. Friend and co-worker of missing person. We found Black's car abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good boss. Oh, please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. <laughs> he's nodding. He's like, no, I'm fucking lying. Come on, just bust me. I can't say he's lying, though. Because there is nothing to prove that he's lying. So. So. Oh, hang on. Live hog purchase receipt. Found in an abandoned vehicle. Wait, what did he say again? Can I see what he said? Because I, I would say it was uh, the receipt for live hog. Yeah. I'm, you're lying. You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? Oh, fuck. I didn't know what the question was. It, it can't be this, then. Because this might this won't prove that he's out on the rail. Uh, maybe. Fuck. I fucked this up. You were oh, there, no, Morgan. I didn't! You found a receipt yeah. in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right, already. That fool Adrian's falling for some dame in Seattle. He wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. I knew it was frames. Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. This was some until dawn bullshit. I knew it. He's telling the truth there. How Fuck! Is what? I don't know. Maybe a greyhound? You guys ought to go try the terminal on Sunset. Oh! He, was, he looked like he was telling the truth. Damn it. No, I want to ask that. I can't ask it again. Fuck's sake. So Adrian isn't hurt? What's with all the blood? I don't know. It was dark. He must have caught a nick on something. Yeah. Alright, complete bullshit. Fuck's sake, I blew it. Could I say it was, a, it was that? Yeah. You're lying, Morgan. You killed Black and hit he the body. He didn't kill Black. Where is it? Me? Hey, all I did was help oh, the fool. I'm fucking this up. You can do a lot more than that to prove that I hurt him. Well, I can say the bloody pipe, but... I knew it. I've had about enough. Oh, I fucked this up so bad. Okay. This doesn't add up, Morgan. Your excuses don't help. Let's see how you enjoy the LAPD taking an interest in your life. You want my opinion? We tell Morgan. I say he's lying, and whatever hole he's got Adrian stashed in, he's got to go back there sometime. I should've just doubted the last two. Fuck's sake. Now I'm not gonna, like... Oh, I want to get a perfect case. That's all I want to do in my life, but... I knew it was bullshit though. There was, that's way too much blood and I had a pig receipt. It was until sure dawn all over again. Hurry. Bet he wishes he'd rehearsed that story better now. Oh fuck. God damn it, come on. Now would be a bad time to forget how to drive, Cole. Am I too close to him? Oh, I was driving recklessly. Right. Right, right. God damn it. That's still pissing me off that I fucked that up. I need to get I need to get used to um oh shit I need to get used to 
and like the interrogation. Because I just, I never doubt, I always assume they're lying. And I need to assume they're doubting and not lying. Because doubting is, you know, you don't need to prove they're doubting. Fuck's sake. I knew this guy was complete bullshit as well. Like, it was two choices, either doubt or lie, and fuck them up. Didn't I say truth for one of them? <sighs> Where are you taking us, Mr. Morgan? Oh shit. Hey, hey. Is he stopping? Here we go. Well, let's check the place out. Oh, an achievement. Wow. Day one of the big time, and you're already tailing drunks home from bars. Have you having fun yet? I told you it was non-stop glamour work and traffic, didn't I? I'm just trying to learn. Oh, come on, Phelps. Save the creepy teacher's pet stuff for Leary. Won't work on me. Alright. Where's Adrian Black? He's in here somewhere. He just wanted to get the fuck out. Man, that's when you know you're in a shitty relationship. When you try that hard to get out of it, you have to pretend you're dead. <laughs> Jesus. Man. Alright. That is commitment. Who the hell is that? Would you relax? Jesus, Adrian, I told you, we're in the clear. I'll get it. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. It's over, Morgan. Mr. Black? LAPD! Give yourself up now! Who is this guy? He's out of here. He's Audi 500. There's no point running, Adrian. What a guy. Look how look how committed he is. Do I do the gun pull thing? Mr. Black, get back here right now. Damn it, Black. Oh, we've got him. Stop it's right over, there, Adrian. Adrian. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're gonna lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian. That turned out to be quite some case, huh? Adrian, what an idiot. You got an arrest and a clearance in your first case, and in fine style, too. Well done, detective. Efficient investigation technique, good public presence. You keep that up, and you learn from Bukowski here, you could go a long way in this department. I didn't even I didn't even get all the clues. Fuck, I got 13 or 14? Really? But all the music was gone on all my wow, okay. Four stars, one or five stars, that's great. I don't think I've ever gotten a five star case, because I don't think I've gotten that achievement. <sighs> well, four stars is alright. That's well, gonna do it for now. Thanks for watching. That was a fun case. Frank Morgan would have rolled over on Adrian Black with some tougher questioning. Yes, I know, and I fucked it up. Thank you for reminding me. That's going to do it for now. I'll see you guys in the next case. Goodbye.